Well, hello folks, welcome to episode five of our RFC Liège save above standard, where we're trying to take this um, historic club in Belgium, RFC Liège, the top of the Belgian leagues. We've kind of got stuck in division two, unfortunately. Um, and we're here in season four and we've had the last couple of seasons have been really, really tough. Um, Things have improved in the second half of this season after going a, a calendar year without a single win. We didn't get relegated somehow, but we did go that calendar year without a win, which is a, a fairly impressive statistic. As you can see, things have improved. We played through January. The last game we played on camera was against Vesteloo. Of course, we haven't won on camera in ages. Uh, we beat RWDM. This was a great win, 1-0 at home. Uh, and you'll notice a goal, a goal scorer who you don't necessarily recognise, Schustra, which is a great name for a striker, I think, getting a goal. Then we played away against Lius, who were top of the league, 2-0. Bodin and Asana with the goals. Lommel was next up, who were doing pretty well in the league. Roman Bodin early on got the goal. And then we played, just played Club Bruges NXT, and of course we lost it. We had a goal disallowed on both sides, uh, so they had one disallowed, we had one disallowed, and then in the end, a, a fairly lucky uh, goal was the one that won it for them. But there is no way they should have beaten us in this game. We were it was a it was an even game, and yet again, the, the Club Bruges NXT hoodoo continues uh, to to con well to continues to confound me because I mean look at this run beat everyone else including Lius away from home and then play NXT and then lose makes no sense anyway let's have a look we've made three signings oh, three signings amazing um, and there's also some other things that are, are happening and you might just have caught that there so uh, one player who's gone out Tia Martin who's one of our youngsters looks I think a quality player he's out on loan at Stocke Wafuzi, um, which is good. Um, we've also brought in a few more players on loan. Axel Schuster, as you saw, uh, came in on loan from uh, Herenveen. I think he's a decent signing. Um, very good dribbling, finishing first touch, and also some uh, pacey forward which is kind of what we want um, so that's good he adds a little bit more up top we're paying about 800 quid for that a week so that's fine uh, demo coida has come in and this is to give us a little bit more at uh, centre back as you remember how to keep uh, left because he wasn't getting game time so we bought this lad in who's more of a ball playing defender and can also provide cover on the left side and the other player who's come in is uh, an, a youngster from Andelect um, Maxim Kiriv, who is a decent player, he's yet to actually play a game for us yet, but um, but yeah, he's uh, he looks decent and he adds some more depth, and we're not paying him any money either. So yeah, this loaning from Andalek seems to work quite nicely. Um, Asante, who's been injured most of the time, hasn't actually played that much and has not been brilliant when he has been on the pitch. So he's probably he's the one we're spending out spending most money on, and he's really not been the player I thought he was going to be. Right, the bad news is this. Adam Nicholas is going to be leaving. He did decide he was happy to discuss a contract. And as soon as I put that contract offer in, uh, in jumped all the big clubs and he decided he's going to join Club Bruges. Uh, we're not getting anything for him. He's joining at the end of his contract. I thought we, you know, even when youngsters joined other clubs at the end of their contract, I thought you got something out of that, but apparently not. So all this work all this effort we've put into developing adam uh, is going to be lost unfortunately so uh, we are going to be short a very very good left back the other really bad news is that roman bodin there was an offer came in for him look at how good this guy is at the minute offer came in for him it was a paltry offer of about a hundred thousand um and I said, no, I want two and a half million for him. I think it's, you know, I think over a million pounds is a fair ask. Uh, and it went back and forth. But anyway, he got annoyed that we weren't allowing him to speak to these clubs and get, get, get uh, you know, up to the top league. I tried everything to try and get him to stay. But he, in the end, wasn't particularly interested with what we had to say. Uh, but he did say he's happy to wait until the end of the season. When I was 
uh, negotiating with him, I got them as high as 300,000 with a 50% sell on fee. And I think, unfortunately, that might be as good as we might get. Just hoping that, you know, he ends up doing well for himself and gets gets a, you know, a big move somewhere and we, we make the most of that. But as you can see, it's a bit of a problem uh, at the minute. So potentially we will not have Roman Bowden. We will not have our Nicholas next season. We have got a whole swathe of youngsters coming through so maybe not a problem but we will see okay here we are we are going to be playing dines in the league um who are third they're doing pretty well in the league yeah if we play if we play our best and i think that's true we can deny them we've played well recently that's we will uh, go through the tunnel in a second yeah well we we, we like to play free-flowing football um I haven't shown the table, have I? Um, let's do that in a second. So, Vestalu are bottom of the league. Let's uh, let's just pause that for a second. So, here's the table currently as things stand. We are now um, eight points ahead of Vestalu with those victories. Um, they have failed to continue their run. They did go good result I think against Club Bruges NXT you've got a draw there but have, have dropped a bunch of other points and they're playing away against Lierce today so you wouldn't expect them to pick up any points there now the interesting thing here and the reason that this match might be so important is that we are eight points behind Dines um, and we've got a game in hand over many of the clubs around us so if we could win this this would just put us on 24 points which is five points behind them uh, and considering how much teams are picking points up, up off each other there's still sufficient games to go to think that we could perhaps sneak that third spot maybe if we win this game i think if we lose this game I don't think we've got hope in hell if we win this game and dine's got a bit of a bad run maybe I haven't gone through the team either. This is really bad. So the team we're going with is Schustra up front. So you get to see him. De Vilda, who's not been great since he's come back. He's only been back a couple of games. Et Taibi, who continues to be brilliant in that inside forward role. Roman Bowden, the traitor in that attacking midfielder. Asani is coming in alongside Arades, uh, with Sprout is on the bench. Nicholas continues at left back. He's happy because he's leaving. So he's continuing to play well. It, it seems silly not to play him, you know, whilst we've got him because Stan has come in quite and done quite well on the right side so he is displaced Mahu believe it or not and Kakudja and Vert in the center of defense both ball, ball playing defenders with Gofan in goal there you go you're up to date so we'll see what see what we can do not many chances early on possession wise it looks like it's going to Dines but we get the first shot no they've had a shot they've had a one on target so that's that probably counts double so uh kind of demand more a masume and we're we gonna we do manage to clear it but it's it's only gone to them van rumpst who is a stake a stake of footballers benali francisco's brother so we, yeah, they've uh, had a chance there and made the most of that. It looks like we are creating some opportunities, just not seeing any of them yet. They keep wanting us to play, um, work the ball into the box, but actually, I think with the amount of chances, there, it looks like they've had an injury as well, which is good. So half-time, nil-nil, not a terrible result at this point. We are winning on XG. Um, we have been the better team. We haven't seen any highlights for us, but we have been the better team. We've not seen anything. So, I mean, they're matching our formation pretty much. They are sort of fiddling around with roles in there. That TB is looking tired. I don't really know. I don't really want to. He's not the player I'd really want to bring off. But again, we're not looking great on this side. Let's bring Asante on. See if he can offer something a little bit different. And maybe we'll just fill with his role a touch to something that he's going to play. So we'll play, let's try an in, inside winger in, or inverted winger in, in old money. Bowden's not played well either. This is interesting because he's been quite good in the last few games. But I wonder, because everything's kicked off since then, so I wonder if that's affected him negatively. That's the only sort of issue um, uh, 
well, uh, not injury wise, but fitness wise. Can we can we put the ball off them? Zimmel. Well, we've picked it up. Kokudja. That's another poor ball. Benali. In back, Bowden. They look what they are. Slightly more, slightly more um, able than us. We just not, just want to nick the ball off them, don't we? And again, we've let the ball go through us, and we've not seen anything going forward. I'm going to change the forward. I'm going to move Schuster, who's offered very little up top. Well, I wonder whether actually, because Bowden has offered so little, whether no, we're going to we'll do that. I'm going to bring it back to balanced, but I'm going to bring these onto an automatic wing back and see if that can offer a little bit more going forward. And we haven't seen that, well, despite us creating the uh, the chances it seems, we're not seeing much going forward. And this is not necessarily how it's been, I have to say, and I don't know why it looks like I'm getting a curse of the... Uh, the old YouTube on this um, in in recent times just not actually being playing well in front of the uh, in front of the cameras that I'm showing you. But here we go, Bowden. He's he's free. Can he find the ball? He has been the man who's oh, yeah, he runs into me. I was going to say he's been the man who was who's been creating the chances for us. But right, so we got to this point. I'm not particularly impressed with anything I've seen. Should we try Asante in the center? Just whether it is whether that is the issue. Come on, come on, right at the end here. No. No, 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 no. Char broils, and that's what I feel. Oh, and Gofan. Well, he has been the man today. He's been the the superstar today. TB is injured. And Gofan picks it out of the air. So we've not played particularly well, I don't think, considering how we've played in recent times. We have created chances, but we've not been particularly good. Um, not found each other with the passes, really, as far as I can tell. It's been quite quite weak on the passing front and here comes Nicholas I think I don't know I think that might be I mean it's a, it's a good result against third in the league but I'm not particularly happy with them uh, because we have been playing better than that didn't start particularly fast and we've been starting quite fast and we didn't didn't end well either really we, we kind of looked a little bit ropey at the end but we have moved to now nine points ahead of Vestalu and look at that goal difference that they've got so uh, it is looking pretty good at the minute um, that we're not going to be going down this season but who knows who knows at this point it's still early days Nicholas set for pay increase what are you are you really my friend you're disappearing off but a great performance from Matthias Gofan Great performance from Matthias Gofan, really showing what he is made of. Okay, I've already kind of decided what I'm going to come back for, because at one point we are going to get that victory. Yeah, I, I think we have to come back for the game against Club Bruges NXT. We are going to win. We are going to beat them this time. That is going to be it. Hopefully we can pick up some wins here. The, the teams we're playing here are not the best in the, in the league. Then we've got some more difficult games up. Um... And then we finish with a sort of mixed bag, really. So apologies, nil-nil draw, not particularly exciting. But if you did enjoy that and you are enjoying the story, please hit that like button, please subscribe, and I will see you next time um, as we try finally to beat Club Bruges with um, RFC Liège. That, that, is, that is the meaning of the save at the minute. We have to do it. Um, we did, first time we played them, I think we did beat them. Let's just check. Yep. And then every game after that, it's been an utter disaster. Okay, well, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.